What's up? Welcome back, Enchanters, to another, uh, this isn't an official unboxing, but it is a review of the Iron Studios 110 scale Omega Red. Um, really excited to do this now. I mentioned this before. I actually filmed this video, an actual unboxing, and the video deleted, and I'm so bummed because this was months ago, and this is a very, very, very late review. But nevertheless, uh, I'm, ex I'm excited to unbox it. Before we get started, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Jean-Pierre Bon Jovi, and I am a content creator here on YouTube, and I am a collector at heart, if you haven't already noticed. <laughs> um, I uh, have grown an incredible fondness towards Iron Studios. I discovered them a uh, back in December. I'm actually filming this now in December. It's been a year since I discovered them. And I think that what they do is just absolutely impeccable in 110 scale. I collect uh, the entire X-Men vs. Sentinel, Sentinel series. And just today, they also announced that the next series they're working on is going to be Age of Apocalypse. I'm not sure if I'm too excited about Age of Apocalypse. To be completely honest with you, there's still 20 more characters I want to see <laughs> before we introduce Age of Apocalypse. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, I'm excited to bring this to y'all. Um, don't forget to subscribe below, it means the world, and hit that bell to get notified every time I come and upload content every Monday and Thursday. I upload content on my channel for reviews, unboxings, unpackings, um, and a little bit of everything. My channel's on a niche channel. So let's go ahead and get started. You can also connect with me on socials, uh, and you can find that at the link of the description. My IG handle and my Facebook. So let's go ahead and, and dive in. Actually, before we dive in, let's ex <laughs> let's experience the art box, right? <laughs> so here we have a close up as we zoom in on these details of Omega Red. It's a close up of his portrait. Here we have like a clear version of him, and on the back you have the full scale of the Omega Red. What is really awesome about these is, again, the art boxes, um, they reference the color of the um, piece. So you have red and uh, gray silver. So, uh, it resembles Omega Red's outfit, costume, ensemble. <laughs> All right, this box will say bottom and top. So you know if this is the bottom, this is the top. And in general, whenever you see Iron Studios on the styrofoam, the Iron Studios logo, that's the top. So, let's open up this bad boy. I'm dreading this because I've opened this up already and now I have to do it all over again. All right. Uh, you go over here. So you're going to get a total of one, two, three, four pieces. We're going to start with the base. The base is a big base. Again, mentioned the scenario video, just says Omega Red. There's no addition size. Iron Studios does not do that with their 110 scale pieces. And let's dive into the very first, uh, I mean, let's dive into this, um, to this piece. What seems to be some sort of a joint of some sort, it is scaled to size, which I appreciate. Um, and it looks like it's a joint. I believe this is his from his thigh to his knee. So it's his upper thigh area. Uh, and you can see the bolt. Uh, this piece is, uh, this is taking place uh, at the, um, at the, uh, inside the school due to the wooden baseboards being completely cracked. Um, I will say, um, it's crazy. It's like, I feel like every single one of these pieces has a different artist, uh, behind it because they're very inconsistent with the mixed media and, or with the effects they're using on the Sentinel. On this one in particular, you just see, uh, a little bit of paint like that copper paint on the end of the wires, but I'm really not a fan of these wires at all. They're kind of all mushed up together. Um, there's really not a clear distinction. There are different colors, but they're just very much mushed up. Uh, it's a little sloppy. Granted, it is distressed and torn, but it's really inconsistent. Every piece has been so inconsistent. Also, like, like it looks like this has been melted. So it has been melted by some form of lava or high heat. So I would, I would position pyro right here because you can tell it's also somewhat, uh, it's melting. It's still kind of hot, hot the metal. That's from the effect of whatever that looks like. 
like molten lava um, uh, just came right through this uh, homeboy. And the only person I can think of right now is Pyro. <laughs> so there you have it. The baseboard looks awesome. The woods, uh, the wood, um, you know, being torn apart. It's a cool piece. Following that, we have Omega. And I have experienced this already, but let's experience it again. I will say he's not that heavy. He's quite light. I love the tre the the treading under his uh, shoes. There's a little bit of distress. Uh, pretty standard Omega. Awesome. So I am seeing some stuff that I like and some stuff that I don't like, and I'm actually noticing now more than I did the first time around. Uh, before we zoom in, before we do that, let's go ahead and peg him in. He has one peg. So, um, he's magnetized. So this foot is actually magnetized to the base, which I really appreciate that versus just the peg. And then you have him peg, key in, he keys right in through there. Um, Let's, before we actually zoom in on these details, let's go ahead and let's add both of his tentacles. So these are a little, just a little bit malleable. Uh, they're actually a lot malleable, but I'm not, I don't like, even though they're not made of polystone, they're made of a different material. I'm still very cautious and fearful of, of how you, um, how these, how you operate with these. I mean, how you're going to bend them and apply them. Uh, so I will always say be mindful of that. All right. So there's two pieces here. Um, we're going to go ahead and right under his gauntlets, he, uh, but under his forearm, he has these little holes. There's really no like instructions on how to do this, but just like they just apply. Um, let's go ahead and put this one over here. And you, mister, if you fit, right over there. They don't really, they're not really magnetized at all. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to adjust them right now because they're going back into packaging. I won't adjust it until I actually display it at my future home. Um, but they don't key in at all. They kind of just fit and they're not magnetized either. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this piece. I want to discuss some stuff that I, I really appreciate from him. So stuff that I appreciate are, are is a different texture on his costume. That's pretty kick-ass. I love this texture here on the side where his rib cage are down the side of his thighs. That's pretty awesome. His hair and his portrait look incredible. He has the red eyes, the lips and the teeth have that shine. The side pieces on his mouth look incredible. Um, his hand, the gauntlets, his, his gloves look amazing. Uh, when you look at his shoulder pads, there's distress as well, silver distress, which I really appreciate that as well. Again, the hair looks incredible, incredible, incredible. Um, and he has like some grenades coming down. Looks pretty awesome. That's what I like. What I don't like is the back. So he has this silver right here. And um, they're supposed to be like almost like buckles and it's poorly painted in black and some of it's even missing it. And they, these little compartments on his utility belt, they kind of look cheaply made and not, uh, and kind of just like a, a quick paint job. There's really not much detail to it. It's very disappointing because you, you typically experience that throughout all the pieces, but I will say um, it's a little lackluster on this piece. I also love the, the chrome red, uh, like a hair uh, braid. Uh, it's like a hair clasp. That looks amazing on him as well. Um, and then as for these tentacles, they look awesome. I love that they're that mixed media, so you can go ahead and switch them around. Um, I appreciate them. I wouldn't change anything about it. I think it's genius, and it's not that it's. And I'm, I'm glad it's not resin, um, because it allows you to maneuver it and maybe create a different scene with another piece and how you want to um, have him project uh, his tentacles. It's pretty kick-ass. 
overall, I'm going to be honest with you with this piece, I'm going to give it a solid eight. Um, what kills me is the, the inconsistency from base to base to base with these coils. It's just, they all look inconsistent. Uh, so this right here, the base itself is losing a point for me. And the other thing is I don't like how cheap this looks. His complexion looks great. His, he has that lightness, that whiteness with there's a hue of peach and a little bit of bluish gray, um, distinguishing him, but he looks incredible. His complexion versus just like one like either like a, a white blue um i do like that he has just a hint of peach in there too it looks amazing um yeah but overall i give this piece a solid eight um it's incredible i do love the way he's positioned uh he's he's in action um there's some of these pieces that just are just posing in such ridiculous poses um and he is just in action and um you can create a scene with him and someone else getting ready to battle um, it's pretty kick-ass. Um, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Solid 8. So there you have it. What are your thoughts? Do you own Omega Red? Um, are you considering getting him? Um, is this a piece you're passing on? Um, what are your thoughts on the piece in general? I'd love to hear your feedback, especially for all uh, my fellow uh, Iron Studio Sentinel versus X-Men collectors. I'm curious what your thoughts on this are. Do you agree, what your thoughts on this piece are? <laughs> and if you agree with my sentiments regarding that base and the back there and his utility belt on the back. But anywho, thank you so much for watching. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, super excited. The next one we're doing is Emma Frost. So stay tuned for that next week, uh, followed by Deadpool. So stay amazing, stay awesome, stay blessed, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.